Hi, this is Dave with True Cable, and I'm here today uh, to talk to you for just a few minutes about patch panels. These are patch panels, and they are the main distribution point in your network. You can see how this is constructed. It's built to be bolted into a rack. On the back side, you can see the different runs going out to your devices come in and are punched down into uh, the back of the patch panel. This is called a punch down patch panel, also called a monolithic patch panel because everything is self-contained. The uh, attachment points, the IDC connectors, and all of the ports are already built in. This is category six patch panel. You wouldn't want, probably, to design a Cat 6A patch panel like this because with all eight of these going across linearly, you end up having to uh, strip back a lot of the jacket in order to get all of those con conductors punched down. And that's an opportunity for crosstalk between those. And in Cat 6A, too much of that, cable, of that conductor is going to be exposed and untwisted. So through Cat 6, these monolithic patch panels are, are pretty good and work just fine. Up front the port, you have a patch cable. Patch cable usually goes from the patch panel to a switch or a router. And each of these patch cable ports marries up to one of the runs out into the facility. This is also a patch panel, but it's different. It doesn't have ports pre-installed it also, if you look at the back, does not have a whole lot of IDC connectors lined up here to connect to. That's because this is called a keystone jack patch panel. These keystone jacks are where the runs come in and are punched down. They're actually punched down inside the keystone jack. Then the front of the keystone jack has a port to which you can connect a patch cable to go to your switch or, or router. Several things are good about these keystone patch panels, and that is you can see here that here's a shielded connector, and these are unshielded jacks. This is a shielded patch panel, but it can also accommodate unshielded keystone jacks. Also, you're not limited to just Ethernet jacks here. You can put uh, coax connections here. You can put uh, audio connections here if that's useful for you. One other advantage of the Keystone patch panel is that it does not have all these connections right next to each other. The connections are inside the Keystone jack. And the reason this is good is because the Keystone jacks are built to protect against what's called alien crosstalk. That is interference between neighboring Ethernet cables. At the Cat 6A level, there's going to be crosstalk here as these are untwisted and unjacketed and right next to other cables in the same situation. These keystone jacks, however, have circuitry built in to not only maintain the correct impedance throughout the channel, but also they're constructed with a patented system to avoid alien crosstalk. In the monolithic patch panel, not so much. There is one more type of patch panel, one we haven't been able to put our hands on yet, but will soon. That is called a staggered patch panel. And the only way I can drive it without showing it to you is to imagine that these openings here, some are out front, some are in back, relative to each other. In other words, they're, they're staggered relative to each other. And the fact that they're not right next to each other helps prevent alien crosstalk. So for Cat 6A, you will want a keystone jack patch panel fitted with keystone jacks, and when they become available, you will want to seriously consider the staggered type of patch panel because uh, that's the best protection at the patch panel you can get against alien crosstalk. Okay, well, there's a quick introduction to patch panels. Uh, I hope it was helpful for you. Thanks for tuning in, and happy networking.